First we're going to look at the seal assembly. This is a traditional design. This is the new design. With traditional design we have 13 parts. Lots of them are small, easy to lose, and expensive to replace. The new design is much more simple. There's only three parts and they are all larger. First thing we'll look at is the lip seal. This is dual functioning as it serves as the radial shaft seal and also the face seal for the seal housing. To install the lip seal, all you do is press it into the bore in the seal housing and make sure it's flush. The seal housing features the rabbit diameter which is used to pilot off the rear seal. This allows for close radial positioning relative to the shaft. The rear seal also features a pilot diameter which is used to pilot off the ID of the B bearing. This is a traditional design with six parts. This is a new design with only two. In the traditional design we have small parts that are easy to lose and more difficult to install. The new design the gears are pressed onto the shaft and do not need to be removed during disassembly. The first thing to look at is the shaft. We have several features in the shaft which improve performance of the pump. The first is the sealing diameter which is larger than the coupling diameter. A nice transition between the two. This allows you to install the lip seal without worrying about damaging the lip seal on the keyway. Another thing to look at is the difference in the bearing diameters. The front bearing diameter is much larger than the rear bearing diameter. And this allows you to install the shaft into the B bearing properly. The driven gear and the arbor also incorporate the same design features. Now we're going to look at the bearings. This is the traditional design and this is the new design. In the traditional design, there are six parts, four of which are D-bearings, which are called D-bearings due to their shape, two of which are these small keys which are required for proper installation of the pump. These keys are used to align these two D-bearings and can be easily forgotten. Also, due to the similar shape of these bearings, you can put the wrong ones together without realizing it. This can cause pump failure in the new design, we have patented B bearings. These are called B bearings due to their shape. In this design, there are only two B bearings to replace the four D bearings and the two keys. These bearings are identical and they can be used on either side of the gears. These B bearings are asymmetrical and can only be installed one way. I'll demonstrate this by installing a shaft into the bearing. You'll see this large diameter fits in the large bore of the B bearing. Tight fit ensures t uh, proper alignment between the shaft and the bearing. The driven shaft is also assembled similarly. The rear B bearing fits on the same way, and as you can see, it can only be installed one way. This creates a tight fitting gear and bearing assembly which is installed into the gear plate. Mm -hmm. 